welcome back to Matt the Groundhopper channel on a very very sunny Saturday afternoon we've not had a lot of sun last few months so it's always a, a welcome pleasure to get a little bit of sunshine and the blue skies so where am I today <clears throat> so good thing about the channel the channel's been going now for over a year it's been growing very organically at a decent rate and when it grows you get lots of comments and suggestions about where you can go uh, for the next go. So we're at Derby or a different ground. And the ground I'm at today, if I'm being honest, wasn't even on my radar about four months ago. And I had several people say to me, you must come to this ground. It's very unique. It's a good experience. They serve really good food. And even sort of fellow vloggers who I know suggested come to this ground as well. And I am of course in Sussex and I'm in Lewis. So Isthmian Premier home to Kingstonian who I think are already relegated but so today it's more about <clears throat> there's no relegation promotion at stake it's more about the actual experience of the ground and what it's like as a decent non-league ground because I've been hearing really good things um, so it's not my list of 160 <clears throat> it's not my Kent list this is I mean do I do a Sussex list okay yeah we'll stick there okay on, on the screen now I'm gonna pop a Sussex list on so so Sussex Grounds, I have been to, from memory, Brighton, Crawley, Eastbourne Borough, Lewis now, and I think, add on the list, I probably will go to Hastings, um, and probably Worthing as well, yeah, so I'll probably add them to my Sussex. So there we go, it's a new list, a Sussex list now, along the Kent list, number 160, add into my workload as I always do. But yeah, just I've just got the train. Literally, you can stand as a vantage point on the bridge over the railway line. Look to the left to the train station. Look to the right, and the ground is right there. So it's a very, very easy commute. Literally, a one-minute walk from the train station to the ground. The ground's right behind me there. You've got some people playing football behind me here. Saturday league behind me. So I want to go in. I want to try some food. Hopefully, it's as good as what people say. And I'll see you inside the ground. Okay, so I'm in the ground. There's quite a lot to take in here because I've got the food, pie and mash mushy peas. I'm sitting on a picnic bench, pitch side. Um, this is the first for me. I've never done this before. Normally it's a dodgy hot dog or a burger. But uh, very unique setup here, as explained by other people. But you can see just behind the warming up. There we go. Oh, that's lunch done. I'll give that eight out of ten um, because the food was fine. But the wooden fork they give you—it doesn't cut the pie, so you end up just macerating the whole thing, like messing in. But it's like sitting there in a pub garden with a fork ground attached to the side. So all very, all very different, but very nice. So, so overall, the ground is behind me. You've got this sort of stone sort of wall. You see just there behind me. That's actually great to this did, so they can't sort of renovate this side too much because they can't touch that wall. But you've got a small sort of seating stand opposite, sort of a small terrace area behind one goal, a larger home terrace behind the other goal. And this side you've got like two sort of walkways, sort of a lower level and an upper level separated by some grassy bank, which is again very, very unique. Um, so it's almost like the ground's built within a quarry almost, it's below ground level. So they've just used the embankments to create the stand. It's, um, it's quite nice though, they've got some beach huts as well. I'll overlay it on the screen now. I presume I like for um, corporate that you're going to hire a beach hut for a season or a couple of games. Again, something different, but there we go. So just a warming up, it's about half hour till kick off. Um,
Okay, so just a few facts. So the ground's called the Dripping Pan. Capacity's about 3,000, that's 600 seats. Um, Kingstonian have definitely been relegated. So I'll just double check that. Just watching them warm up now, I can see why they've been relegated, because they've been just flying over the crossbar, nearly taken out some fans. But there goes, and there goes another one. Smashing against the York advertising balls, but, so they're definitely down. Lewis, mid toe, I don't think Lewis can make the playoffs, but, yeah, it's a very sort of tranquil afternoon, yeah. Everyone's in a good mood, drinking, eating, but, um, yeah, so I say, it's, it's one of the better grounds, if I'm being honest, certainly in this league, and I've been to a few ropey ones, but it's a very pleasant place to work football. Yeah, obviously spent money on the ground, upgraded it, um, sitting in the main stands, in padded seats. It's all very comfortable for this level, very impressive, and I did read that these seats were purchased from Wembley Stadium. So a little bit of upcycling there. Um, I don't know what part of Wembley Stadium were, where it's their corporate seats, because I don't think all of Wembley's padded. Comment if I'm wrong, but um, I don't think it is, but yeah. So very comfy, you can see there, look. Red padded seats. On the back of the main stand, there's loads of scarves that have been clipped up to the back of the stand, all, from, all around the world. Had a good look around. There's no Gillingham scarf or Chatham Town scarf, but there's an Arbroath scarf. <laughs> I should have bought one with me and put it up there. But uh, but there is a link to Gillingham because number 11 for Lewis is Chris Welbdale. Played for yours about 10 years ago, isn't it? So he's there on their strikers. Um, but it's a very unique place to watch football. It reminds me a little bit of Dulwich Hamlet where people at Dulwich, they just come for a day out, eating and drinking, and football's a bit of a sideshow. And that's what it feels like here. Like people are just here at a nice day out. And the football's just on, and they just watch it if they want to, really. But so it feels a bit like Dulwich. Obviously, not nowhere near as busy because Dulwich was like nearly 3,000 fans there. I mean, here you're looking to get, I don't know, 500 maybe. End of season, dead rubber. But um, 10 minutes in, still nil nil. I'm cheering on for Lewis. I want Chris Wilk to have to score. <laughs> Might get him over in. No deals. But yeah, but anyway, it's still nil nil. So Wilk down, just scuffed a shot wide. Oh, no, I just like a point, it's actually got grass pitch, and bearing in mind we're near the end of the season, the pitch is in really good condition. So I think Lewis Williams team player as well, but yeah, for a pitch at this low, lower level in the league, in Pyramid, the grass pitch is one of the best ones I think I've ever seen. I can't believe it, Chris Wilkins has taken a knock, he's down, he's injured. He's getting up. He's, getting, he's like late 30s now, so he's, he's running around with 21 year olds, so he must be taking its toll on his body. But yeah, he's taken a while to sort of recover from this, but still nil nil. And um, Welkdale now carrying a knock. Oh. Welkdale, save on the line. Wilkdale. That shot there was Chris Wilkdale, there he is. Next years. So the goalkeeper, bear in mind they practice goal kicks week in, week out. It's just completely just smashed it straight into the touchline the other side. And they can get it through wrong, it's even windy here though, you know, but um, still nil nil. I've not come across any Kingstonian fans yet. Um, I mean you'd have to be quite a hardened fan to come away from Kingstonian to Lewis in your second of Ottman League already relegated, but if they score, I suppose they'll show their colours and jump up and down, but I've not seen it yet, but... So, second half's underway. I take back what I said, there are Kingstonian fans here. Over this end now. Everyone sort of spun round. Um, and to be fair to them, it's better they're actually in quite a good voice. Probably about 60 of them, but um, as I said earlier on, yeah, it's proper fans at it, so now they've been relegated. Um, and they've come on away from you can say, and they're still supporting their team, so you can't beat that, <laughs> you can't. And, but there's no plastic fans at this level, there really isn't. It's proper fans, true fans, that's why I love non-league football. 
But I'm going to have a look when I'm going to go down the other side because I've got a funny feeling that Lewis is going to score. I don't want to be at the wrong end, but still 0 0, and we've just kicked off in the second half. I predicted that right, so I had a feeling it was going to score, walked down the scene, waited two minutes and they scored! So, finally Lewis got a goal because they've been knocking on the door all the first half. A bit King Sam, they've had a cut of chances themselves, but, but it's um, Dominance has played and it's now 1-6. So I just announced the attendance, 905, which is more than what I thought, but it's quite a big ground, it's spread around, so it's very hard to... Um, Calculate something there's 100 people there, but yeah, 905, it's not bad for end of season dead rubber. Um, fair play to the King Stanley fans, I was mocking them earlier on, but they're sort of behind that goal, and there's a few of them, very noisy, and they're all wearing t shirts saying sack the board. So obviously, not happy with the ownership of the club. Finally, so next season, probably in the Isthmian South Central League, I presume. It's very easy to get relegated, four go down, but it's very hard to come back up again. So, divides into three divisions, but that's what I like it. King Stone on the attack now. Oh. It saved it. Still one it. Now 2-0 to Lewis, and like they've deserved it. I mean, Kingstone have had a couple of chances, but I don't seem to have lack any killer touch up front. It's one of probably second to bottom, but yeah, so 2-0 Lewis, I think it's deserved. Should be 3-0, maybe 4-0, I don't know, but um, yeah, and um, Chris Workdale was not on the pitch. He must have gone off for half time. I was looking out for him, but he's no longer there, so his old legs have given up and he's done his 45 minutes, but. So King Stadium have got a goal back. I think they deserve it. They've had a few chances, but um, fans are going nuts. <laughs> they haven't scored many goals this season. It's like a, a rare occurrence, but I mean, it's now too. Full time, full time score 2 1 to Lewis. Back at the train station now. Uh, you know, I, I was saying earlier on for end of season dead rubber, there was quite a lot of passion. The fans were up for it and the players were up for it as well. Both Kingstonian and Lewis. I mean, bear in mind, Kingstonian have been relegated, but manager was there screaming and players have, you know, given it a rule. But ultimately, Lewis's class come through in the end and they ran out pretty comfortable winners. Um, the ground itself, because this is a ground hopping channel, I yeah, it's, it's very unique. I liked it. Um, I'll come back again. Um, just the setup is different to what you'd find anywhere else. That's what makes it an interesting place to visit. So overall, it's probably one of my best, if not my best non-league ground I've been to to date. It's sort of, you know, it's toying with Dulwich Hamlet, but but they're both different. They're both good for different reasons. But yeah, so big thumbs up to Lewis. Um, Nice ground, nice food, um, and hopefully you got to the end of this video and you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. If you haven't done so, hit the thumbs up as well and drop us a comment as well. Always read the comments, and try and reply to them if you are a loose fan or you've been to this ground before. But thanks again to the end, and I'll see you at my next video, which will probably be next Saturday. Thanks again and bye for now.